productivity within our homes, churches, and communities through comprehensive, compassionate outreach ministries. Amen. Our scriptural text will be coming from Luke, Luke 1, verse 45, and it reads, and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And I I chose this scripture today because one is Mother's Day, but us as women, mothers or mother types, it seems that we are burdened the most because of our nurturing spirit, our giving spirit, and everything and all the duties that um, that are bestowed upon us or things that we feel in our hearts that we need to do. And so today I would like to encourage the mothers, whether you're a bonus mother, a 
dog mother, a grandmother, any type of mother, school mother, whatever it is. It doesn't always have to be natural, um, natural motherhood, but whatever it is that you have called to be in your community, I want to encourage you that God still hears you. He hears your prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we thank you. God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. I thank you. Oh God, for your tender mercies. Woo. Your grace. Your love, your care, oh God, your trust in me, oh God, that whenever we mess up, oh God, you still trust us to do what it is that you have called us to do, oh God. God, we thank you for not smiting us, oh God. Woo. When we didn't do what we were supposed to do, God, we thank you. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for us to be able, the mothers, to see another Mother's Day. Oh, God. Oh, God, the burdens, the burdens, the burdens, the burdens, the burdens, the burdens. Oh, God, you're allowing me. Ooh. I can feel the heaviness, oh God, as it relates to motherhood, oh God. Whatever child that you may have before the Lord, oh God. Whatever situation that you have before the Lord, oh God. Lord, I ask that you grant it in the name of Jesus. Fulfill the prayers in the name of Jesus. The mothers have cried out to you, oh God. We have cried out to you, oh God. Oh God, I declare that it be no more drama in the name of Jesus. No more messiness in the name of Jesus. No more disconnect in the name of Jesus. No more hatred in the name of Jesus. So that you, oh God, may be glorified. You, oh God, hallelujah, may be uplifted, oh God. Thank you, oh God. You don't dwell in mess. Thank you for being a God that doesn't sit high and don't come down low to get us, oh God. Lord, we thank you. 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 It seems like our church family has been under attack for the last month or so. One by one, one by one, everyone has been stricken with their own obstacles. But God, I believe that also one by one, you're going to bestow the blessings. All the favor, all the favor of the Lord shall be upon us one by one. And as if we be lifted, oh God, as we get refilled, oh God, the all is going to trick down. And one by one, one by one, we shall be blessed. We shall be redeemed. We shall recover in the name of Jesus. All the things that the devil tried to take from 
Jesus, the blood of Jesus will purify our souls, oh God. We thank you. God, we thank you in advance. God, we thank you in advance. Someone may be hurting, oh God, in their body, oh God. Somebody may be hurting in their mind, oh God. Somebody may be hurt in their spirit, oh God. Somebody may think that you're not with them, oh God. But God said, no, hey, I am with you. God, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for guiding us through the valley. Thank you for guiding us through the valley. Hallelujah. That we shall not fear. 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 God, somebody needs some money. God, somebody needs some finances. We need financial freedom. Somebody needs it. But I know that you're going to call us to do a work first. So God, we believe and we trust you. Because here we are, standing in the need. Here we are. God, send us and we'll go. God, somebody is struggling. Oh God, somebody couldn't get out the bed this morning. But Lord, we thank you for being omnipresent. That even though you're here with us, you can go to wherever they are. To lift them up in the name of Jesus. Lift it in the name of Jesus. Lift it in the name of Jesus. Even if they have to crawl into the building. Do it, God. 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 I don't know what it is, but it's so many of our members that have been burning my heart on this week. So, God, I'm standing in the gap. I'm standing in the gap. Even in, the own, in my own mess.
God is here, I dare you to lay whatever you have going on at his feet right now. Come on, come on church, lay it at his feet, lay it at his feet. You can't do it, only he can. You can't fix it, only he can. So let's model that right now, God, I'm going to lay it at your feet. Can, can you help me say that right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, Whatever I got going on, I'm going to lay it at your feet. Y'all didn't say it because if you said it, you'd have felt the release. Or evidently you didn't do it. So let's do it one more time. Father, I thank you for the access. And now whatever I'm dealing with, I'm going to lay it at your feet. Hallelujah. I told you that comes behind it because now that he got it, I don't have to deal with it. Now that he got it, I ain't got to do nothing else. Now that he got it, he can fix it. And if you know that God can fix it, I dare you in this place to say, God, I'm laying it at your feet. I'm laying him at your feet. I can't fix him, but I got a father that can. I can't fix her, but I got a father that can. I'm laying it at your feet. Oh, you might need to lay your kids at his feet. You might need to lay your job at his feet. You might need to lay your mama at his feet. Whatever it is, you might need to lay the offender at his feet. Y'all ain't going to talk to me in this church, but I got some folk in this room that's been offended. And I dare you to say, God, for whatever they did to me, I'm going to lay them at your feet. 
Because if I touch him, I might cut him. If I touch him, I might shoot him. If I get involved, I might do something that's not godly. But one thing I can do is lay them at your feet. Y'all ain't gonna talk in here. But I just feel that there's a laying that needs to go on in this place. That I got a couple of y'all in here that got some stuff that made you want to cuss. As a matter of fact, you might have done it in your old life. But since you got some stuff that need to be at his feet, I dare you to touch a neighbor and say, drop it off. Drop it off. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Don't you try to do it. Don't you try to fix it. Don't you try to handle it. Let the Lord be God. I wish I had somebody here that's willing to lay it at his feet. Every trouble that you have, every struggle that you're dealing with, every burden that's on your life, lay it at his feet. Hey, Y'all ain't gonna say that. I'm, I'm gonna have to say it until you get breakthrough. I'm gonna have to say it until you learn that if I put it at his feet, then I can now testify with my feet that my God has already taken me. Ain't nobody in this place, but back in the day, we used to sing a song yeah, that I put it all in his hand. This and that. Y'all done got uppity. But I wish I had a couple of y'all in the room that can testify I had a this and neighbor, I got a that. But I'm gonna put it. And that's uh, I put it all uh, Yes uh, In his hands uh, My daughter uh, Is in his hands My son uh, Is in his hands uh, My spouse uh, Is in his hands uh, My pain uh, Is in his hands uh, And if you believe it uh, Shout yes uh, Shout yes! It's in his hands. It's in his hands. Your burdens, put it in his hands. Yes! Your bills, put them in his hands. I know you're worried. I know you've been up all night. But I dare somebody to put it in put it in his hands he can fix it he can handle it yes God will make a way if you believe it shout yes ah, put it on In his hands, in his hands, there's healing in his hands, joy in his hands, yes, there's rest in his hands, peace that surpasses all understanding in his hands, guess what else church, there is power in his hands, Yes, Lord. So if in fact you're in depression, I dare you to fall out in his hands. He'll bring you back, give you joy, give you a shout that's unexplainable because God has the power 